been baking bread or one viewer. <laughs> yeah. I haven't baked bread yet. I haven't. I don't know if I want to. That sounds like a commitment. I'd rather just buy bread. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's, it's like, like that's the point is this a commitment because, you know, I mean, it's a time to do things, but like I can do this for that same amount of time. Yeah. I will. I will spend all day <laughs> petting this doggo with the robot uh -huh. ears. Yeah. Uh -huh. Great. Thank you to Allison Fadkin, who wrote both of these amazing, hilarious plays that we're going to be reading for you tonight. <laughs> it ain't over until the pink lady sings. Yep, she's the ginchiest, and anyone would be kooky not to have a crush on her. Wait, are you? Kooky? A threat? Of course I'm not a threat, Marva. This is musical theater. I'm a triple threat. You should have seen her at summer parties when we were kids. She would play ice cream parlor, pizza parlor. She would even play tattoo par parlor, but she would never play beauty parlor. Winifred balks at blow dryers. Cringes at curling irons. And hates the heck out of hairspray. Are you kidding? I am severely smitten with hairspray. Marv and I first saw it in seventh grade, and the very next day I went out and bought saddle shoes, just like Penny Pinkton Pat wears. Then I returned them because they looked too much like pandas, and I was afraid. I don't know why, but I'm beginning to experience more curiosity than all the cats and cats combined. If memory serves me correctly, the friends to lovers scenario has been done before. You want to talk combat compatibility? Okay. We go together like Eva Perone and Patti LuPone. You go together like Lena Lamont and Lena Horne. Uh, finally, you're picking up your LGBTQs. <laughs> Love triangles are so square. In other words, you'll thank me later. I mean it. I expect an avalanche of appreciation for this activation ASAP, preferably tomorrow. It's only a gay away. <laughs> oh, and remember girls, a relationship is not a hairdryer, so don't blow it. <laughs> uh, which reminds me, next time we play Tattoo Parlor, I'm drawing my name on your bicep and vice versa. Is that a prerequisite for holding me in your arms someday? Someday? What's wrong with today? Ready, steady, go. go. Marva and Winifred kiss Kurib. Batter up! Hear that call? That cat call, that is. This is especially true of my teammate Jojo D'Angelo. Short for Lay D'Angelo, Lady Angelo, of course. Lest she be confused with Joe DiMaggio. That would be a no-no, Jojo. <laughs> if only that Dane had done the same as Penny. A shining, a shiny and shining example of ladylike likability. She treats each period of play not as an inning, but as a feminine inning. And how could she not with that killer diller figure? Granted, I'm not great at it. One scene looked like a jump rope and the other looked like the string on a pole along duck. But in my defense, it's hard to stay straight. You don't say. All American girls kissing all American girls. That's neither feminine nor all Americans. Fine. Then I love you. I love when you're scrappy when you're snappy, even when you're a little bit yappy, and I really love the way you play. Your ferocious focus, how you wait at the plate like Goldilocks until the pitch is just right, not too low, not too high, not too wide. Then catapult towards first base like a batter out of hell. Maybe we should just take the pa base path of least resistance. We should not. Just because we have to ration our food and our fabric and our fuel doesn't mean we have to ration our happiness too. Why dwell on the swell stuff? Because who knows how long this freedom or this league will last. That's why. Batter up. We're that call. The time has come for one and all. To get.